Hey guys, you're all here burning the midnight oil with old Barry. Um, a few good things came across the wire today, and I want to fill you in and uh, take a few moments. Hopefully you'll help us get this out like you've been doing a bang-up job. It's amazing, and uh, again, we congratulate you. But um, <clears throat> a lot of subscribers have been asking old Barry, um, you know, okay, we're forwarding a lot of this stuff. It makes good sense, and... We know it to be real, but is there anything else we can do? And what came across, uh, what came over the wire here uh, a couple of days ago was um, a lot of people are asking, what else can we do? Now, here's one excellent thing. I want to go through this article together. Again, this is from Armstrong Economics. And this is another thing each and every one of us that's over 18, uh, that is registered to vote, uh, can do this. And it's easy. Leanne is going to make mention uh, of, um, she's going to be uh, attaching a um, kind of like a cut and paste paragraph from another blog that we got from Armstrong Economics that'll make it real easy for anybody to just cut, paste it onto an email, add in your personal information like your name and this and that, and send it off. Uh, we're also requesting, okay, because we're reaching a crucial moment here, and I, in a moment I'm going to share some decent news with you also. But um, anybody that's over 18 in the family, uh, if you have children living at home, whatever, pass this on to anybody that's over 18, and please take the few minutes yourself to forward it to them on email so they could forward it to people. And there's one thing I know about, well, a lot of things I know, but a couple things I know about politicians right off the bat. Okay, first of them, none of them read worth a damn. Second, they're all good at understanding numbers. And when enough people, after their secretary has thrown out a few and it just gets through that, yeah, these just keep coming on, eventually... <clears throat> when the numbers are big enough, they're going to read it uh, because numbers are, to them, votes. Numbers are money. So that's what it takes to push their buttons. I want to venture into this, okay? How to find your representative for emails. We can win. Now, um, uh, those of you that have been with us for any any time at all know how, how uh, much respect goes out to Armstrong Economics from us mentors. Uh, Truth be known, they are, in our opinion, one of the finest sources on this planet. And they also do have a free blog for those that cannot afford their private services, okay? So there is no excuse. There's so much knowledge to be found on that. I'm not pushing them. I have no ties to them. I would love to meet Mr. Armstrong one day and shake his hand or at least have a Skype together. But I will always continue to put that man's name on top line because. In my humble opinion, there's there's nobody better on this planet that could actually get us out of this situation as softly as possible. So if you care at all, basically, not to put you on the spot, but I am, <laughs> you'll forward this, all kidding aside, and you'll get this to as many people as you can. Uh, in the beginning, I match his objection where he says here, it's straightforward at first choice. Anyone who wants to accept a vaccine, I'm leaving Bill Gates a vaccine, period, that will, that, and despite this too, but any vaccine, despite whether it's been approved by the FDA, come on, those guys are sharks, and, and uh, we should be free to do so, okay? If, if you want it, you should be free to. It's like the mentors were trying to, it's your body. That's You're not hurting anybody else. Feel free. On the other side of that coin called freedom, the coin of freedom, you should also not be forced to take it if you don't want to and suffer the consequences if you're wrong. You see, when you're an adult, you're going to have the option of choice. When you have a government, when you have a dictatorship, when you have a tyr uh, tyrannical government that restricts what you can see, so you're allowed to see anything you want, the most vivid gore, anything you want, but you're not allowed to witness two adults having a conversation about something. Anytime things are getting like that, understand where you are. And these rights, I don't know where we've lost these basic rights as human beings. But in 
Uh, Marty's going on here. He's categorically informing everyone that the rise in unemployment during the Great Depression, and we brought this up we, uh, a couple of weeks ago in a previous video, or I might have done it in a post, because I do a lot of, uh, when time permits, posts as well, but a post takes a lot, to, a lot longer than a video. But in any event, I did bring it up, and uh, it did take three years for this to uh, happen during the Great Depression. And... Uh, Take a look at what's happened here in well under two months it's reached that. We're already tipping 30%, and so it's it's actually under seven weeks. So he's saying he can't stress, uh, he cannot stress how disastrous this has been from a global economic perspective. We are facing a rise in global tensions, both internationally by all the finger-pointing among nations, rise in civil unrest, which is the type that will turn into violence and, in many cases, armed revolutions around the globe. Does it not sound familiar? Again, when you get to know this website, you're going to know there's no fear porn. It's just truth, but there's optimism as well. Um, like I say, um, personally, this man's customers are billionaires and presidents of countries, prime ministers of countries, personals. He was the closest and represented people like Maggie Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher, that we, for him, it was Maggie. I mean, this guy is on the, this guy is in the belly of the beast, if ever there was a Jonah. And I'm telling you, I believe him 100% when he says the only reason he does this is for his grandchildren. He doesn't need the money. And uh, it, it's just an amazing individual. I encourage everybody, if there's anything that you've taken away from getting to know me in the short period you have, is key on at least to Armstrong Economics free blog. And you'll just, you're just absolutely going to be amazed. And I guarantee you within a couple of months, the amount of inside peace you have, power maybe even, that you're going to feel by knowing things and already being able to, with a little help from folks like us, a little help from you, forwarding it to other people, by us helping each other, you're going to find that you're a little bit more at peace because you understand a lot more and you're in a lot less fear. And that's where the peace comes in. I, I'm serious. I'm telling you, because no matter what your problem is, we all got the same problems. Some are worse than others. I don't deny it. But the one thing we all have in common is worrying doesn't solve it. Okay, that's not the answer to it. So that is one thing that's in common. Keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, what he's also saying here about, as I continue on, everything is just about, you know, finger pointing. Uh, <clears throat> but the domestic disputes, the stress of people losing everything thanks to Gates from their jobs, pensions, and homes, as banks immediately have cut off, banks have immediately He's got a misprint there. Banks have immediately cut off mortgages. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to these people, these Fauci's, these Gates. I, I don't know what their future looks like. He commences uh, by saying commercial real estate is collapsing and in most cases has no bid. And uh, absolutely, uh, I would have to agree with that, being uh, in that business for over four decades. Uh, it's amazing because, again, when you understand the transmission, it's amazing because uh, we do real estate, and yet we've been very, I, I can't say very, very comfortably staying together considering no flights. We've been booking a fair amount of people because the people we're booking, they understand. We understand they want to reallocate money into a safer atmosphere for right now. I mean, that's all over China. Just you can't dispute the population of that country. I've been there so many times. Just before moving on to get a middle-sized city, uh, for example, uh, for example uh, Guangzhou. Guangzhou in China, is that's a middle-sized city, is bigger than the 10 most populated states in America put together, and that's only a middle-sized city. You have no concept, if you haven't been there, the vastness of this citizenry and this country. It's amazing. Um, here's the good news. Shifting. Models. When he's talking about models, he's talking about what I'm circling here. We have a pretty aggressive plan where we use this 
artificial intelligence called Socrates. So when he says models, models are coming from Socrates, okay? I'll let you look into it for any who are interested on your own. Uh, but they clearly show that Gates is starting to run into serious resistance. Remember, we said this thing left some prominent people chopped off at the knees, and they're right pissed off because they thought they were in the club, but they found out they weren't. You never get to know that information until it's already occurred. So those people, you see, when you understand a little bit on a, on a different level what's going on, <clears throat> Many prominent people, very, very deep pocket, powerful people, but not quite as powerful as they may have thought they were, got whacked and lost a lot by this lockdown. They were not kept in the loop. Many of those people are now fighting, and as these type of people do, they'll jump ship. There's no loyalty. But sometimes a smart general uses... A gift, you know, like a, like Mayor of Chicago used to say, Rommel, never let a good catastrophe go to waste. Well, we have to think that way a little bit too, okay? I know it from some of the people that are talking to me on, on the phone or by email and Skype and people I know from a different level of information and where I get information from different people I've met around the world. Trust me, there is a fair bit of resistance coming in there. Uh, like, uh, just continuing on before I move on to the next interesting piece here, but he said he's getting emails from around the world informing that uh, there are large protest rallies being organized globally against Gates in the in the middle of May. We have the we have a right to make our voices heard. People are beginning to band together. We are beginning to get financial backing, much of it again by the people that thought they were in the club. So. You know, don't get too close because they're not helping us. They're only angry because they want to get something back. Okay, so uh, don't don't depend on them. But for right now, they're on our side, a lot of them. And uh, and in other words, uh, we need to get to do this before all the crosses over into the violence and the bloodshed starts. Um, this is not again very important. This is not a time for Democrat, Republican, straight, gay, black, white, Jew, Christian, other. This is not a time for anything like that. This is a time for the universal laws that basically, that apply, not basically, that 100% apply to us, whether we like it or not, we live within their realm. That's what this is all about, okay? The Gates monopoly of the world health. You don't want these people forcibly injecting you or your family with anything. Look at what's coming out with Dr. Judy Mikovits about the damages that... Look at what's coming out from Dr. Rashid Buttar. Look what's coming out from the doctors in Bakersfield, California. And a matter of fact, Germany, Sweden, Asia, now Africa. I'm doing a video where the... Actually, Prime Minister, President of Africa is actually speaking out about this whole thing's a farce because they're pawpaws. And I think that's, um, I'll look it up just to be sure, but I believe that might be avocate, avocado, or it might be something like that. But one of their traditional staple fruits even tested positive for Corona-19. It's nuts. So anyway, uh, moving on here, okay. Leanne is going to put a attachment in that and it's your responsibility to make it go viral next piece of information history of pandemics and i want to make a clear conception here please do not uh, ever assume that old berries 100 percent for anything okay i've always said nothing's white or black it's various shades of gray that includes uh, about my research what i've uncovered about vaccines some vaccines are very necessary. So again, anytime you have somebody that's 100% Democrat, 100% 100% this, 100% that, okay, understand that's going to be a very dicey individual uh, to really have an honest conception of coming from anything from an unbiased standpoint. But anyway, here, pandemic, okay? So anyone who says there is no pandemic, yes, there is a pandemic. I'm not saying it's... A pandemic could be a flu. 
A pandemic could be a virus. A pandemic could be anything. A pandemic could even be technically an internet wipeout of an entire nation. Okay, as long as it affects and is prevalent over the whole country or the whole world, it is classified. So pandemic is classified geographically, okay, not by a disease or other category. A lot of people are making uh, a simple mistake on that, and I just, it's a great time to, to uh, kind of straighten it out. Okay, um, this is, if you take a look at here, the plagues, if you take a look at epidemics, everything all the way through, without doubt, the major, the bad boy of them all is going to be Black Death and the bubonic plague, 200 million people. Now, it's interesting, all throughout histories, we've always had flus arriving from more from certain parts of the world geographically than others. We've we've studied a fair amount of this uh, solely because of interest, and I don't want to drag it out any time. And forgive me, I sometimes do ask people to drink from a fire hose. It's one fact after another, and I'm sorry. But in any event, um, going back in history about the Black Plague, uh, that was actually the divide line between serfdom and capitalism, believe it or not. And uh, what's even more interesting about that is uh, it was done by what us mentors are saying is going to be shaping the next near future and why we're going into a commodities boom over the next years. And that was it was because the help to work crops and everything in the farming regions were not allowed to move from country to country because everything was locked down. Now, a large percentage of them were sick too, but it also, it also had a lot to do with the lockdown. The ones that were healthy couldn't go from country to country. So an awful lot of people ended up dying from starvation as well as the Black Plague. So I like that saying that I caught wind of a, a short while ago, but you know, the Black Plague uh, bubonic plague, the Black Death, uh, that killed 200 million people was the start of capitalism. And this way down here, coronavirus that killed a little over 271,000 is what ended it. What a statement. Whew. Have people had fear pull the wool over their eyes? Just a little bit more here. Um... The death toll. Oh, yeah. Also here, um, I guess I want to take a little victory lap on this one. The mentors, way back in the beginning, two months ago, said, keep your eye, er, eyes open for J.H. And a lot of people asked me, well, who was J.H.? And then I finally released to them, it was John Hopkins. Because if you follow the money, you're going to find out about a month, to, I think no, I think it was six weeks before this virus was released, John Hopkins University got received an enormous grant in excess of $1.6 billion. Again, so often if you follow the money, you're going you're gonna to get to the sources. So anyway, a quick victory lap for the mentors on that one, because the World Health Organization officially declared COVID-19 a pandemic on March 11th of 2020. Quote, it's hard to calculate and forecast the impact of COVID-19 because the disease is new to medicine and data is still coming in. John Hopkins University, who put together the fudged graphics of this whole thing that was out of scale, out of proportionate, which then people like Ferguson got in and went by, See, the only thing we ever did have to go by, and nobody brings this up. No, I think a guy named David Icke did. But the only thing anybody ever had to go by, because it was a new flu, or a new pandemic, rather, was what Wuhan did. And it was new to them. So there was no set rules or anything. Now, sure, two months later, the damage is done. They're all coming out and admitting, oh, we over-panicked. It wasn't nearly as deadly. Da, 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 da. It's... It's too late. The damage has is, is been done. But you see, it's small websites like people like uh, who comes to mind here. 
who I, I personally like, but I'm not I'm not pushing anybody. Um, when it comes to understanding the trends, uh, old Gerald Salendi is a pretty good character. Uh, I think he's out in New York. I'd like to shake that man's hand one day, too, and have a talk with him. But anyway, I, I wonder, unless these people got other dugouts, I wonder what the hell they'd be doing in New York about now. But anyway, uh, you know, but, but their calls are very accurate. Now, it's like us, okay? Two, two and a half months ago, whenever we started, that's when we came out with that. Not, you know, like I say, that's the thing. Anybody could release it after the effect. So we followed the money to John Hopkins, and from there it was da 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 da. But that's when I'm trying to encourage you people, and I'm sorry if I drag it out, but I'm trying again to change the way you see things and think. We don't stay on the track much after that. The mentors don't. Everybody we know and our wonderful, oh, they want every bit of information overload. Remember, huh? you know, does Amtrak go to food? Does Amtrak, okay, what time is How much are tickets? Do they have a box car, a food car? Wham! And you get hit by the train because you're doing it while you're on the tracks. Okay? We have four or five significant pieces of information. Boom. Next subject. We leave that station. I encourage you to start thinking the same way because it's a it, it, it's a media trap. Um, like I say, just in case there's something good that the talking heads in the media and the mainstream medias are talking about, do you ever notice they have that little ticker tape that runs? It just runs on the bottom there just to keep you in bad news. Just to keep you in bad news, there's something in Beirut. There's something that blew up in Libya while he's telling you the good news, okay? This is all done psychologically to affect the way you think. Now, more importantly, death toll on the COVID, okay? These are all done by size, excuse me. These are all 200 million, smallpox, 56 million, the Spanish flu, 40 million. Did you know the Russian flu, the Spanish flu, COVID, H1N1, all those flu? It seems like flus originate from China, just like outfielders originate from the DR where I live in the Dominican Republic. But, you know, say la vie, maybe that. I'm not blaming anybody. It could be climate. It could be geography. It could be a lot of things. I don't personally believe it's wet markets. So, and uh, neither does Dr. Judy uh, Mikovits and a host of others. But here we go, guys. Oh, almost couldn't see it. There you go. Okay, that's that's what everybody there. Now, of course, not my subscribers, but this is what I'm trying to get my subscribers to forward to their thick-headed friends and loved ones. By size. If you take things and look at them in proportion, this is this is what we've caused the greatest financial disaster in the history of man. Right here. For something that size. Okay? I think it's another unique piece of information that you may want to f gently forward to people. I'm telling you, we are making progress, just like Marty says. Write the Congress people. This is the utmost, some of the most important things you'll ever do in your life, even though they seem like they're nothing. It's the generation of numbers that changes the planet, and um, a lot of people are waking up. This may actually turn... In terms of the financial damage, no correcting. But in terms of getting the average citizen to recognize who the enemy is, I think we may get some serious progress there. And if we could do that, then there might be something left for children and grandchildren to inherit. But my goodness, if you, if you just look at this in perspective, okay? My God, so this created freedom, right? Because it ended serfdom, which was slavery, and then people became independent because they could negotiate their own labor contracts. And they used to give them about, I believe uh, from past research, they would give them about 18% of the crop value and a little place to live. You know, kind of a lot like the DR runs. And uh, that started freedom. And my God, it's sad to think. I almost want to not say it, but that little puny thing ended it. Wow. Anyway, that's a powerful note to close on. Uh, please forgive me if I carry on a little bit too much. I just mean so much. Um, but in anything, the last is uh, old Barry took a lot of hits on this one. And I know I don't believe me. That doesn't bother me. It's a pleasure from all you wonderful people. 
how many tens of thousands of wonderful comments and, and subscriptions and forwardings we're getting now from people that didn't even know Leanne and me just a couple of weeks ago. I mean, we're nobody special. We're just a couple of people that live out in the country, the Dominican Republic, you know, the farm areas. But I took a lot of hit on this one, too. And just like the U.S. dollar where it is and gold and silver and it, it's always... I guess it's a good thing old Barry understands I don't take things personally that way because I know a lot of people are afraid right now and the emotions are running high, but I clearly understand the saying that goes, you know, you have to turn your back on the crowd to lead the orchestra sometimes. If you want to lead an orchestra, you got to turn your back on the crowd, I guess is a better way to say it. And I'm, I'm totally used to that, so I ignore the few harsh people, but I took a lot when I said you're going to find... Uh, Chancellor Merkel in Germany, because they're trying to crush Germany as well as America. It's a natural progression, but there's there's a political undertone here. This comes from Cornell University. And what's the first word there? Corona bonds. On Tuesday, finance ministers from the Eurozone will meet virtually to discuss how to best address the region's economic crisis. I'll, I'll uh, make sure Leanne, uh, you know, also links it. But top of the agenda right here, top of the agenda is the issue of corona bonds. So I'd like to do a physical gesture here, but I won't. I'm only joking because I, I really, I don't argue with people. I told you why from a distance, no one can tell who the fool is. We just... Mentors just do our studying and let time prove it for us. There it is. So because now, and we've already discussed in past videos, even before this lockdown started, about the fate of the euro, that it cannot survive. Mathematically, it's impossible. And we went into all the reasons why, but yada, yada, yada. Anyway, uh, a quick thanks again upon exiting. Uh, guys, please. Please make sure you get everybody to fill this out, okay? Un United States House of Representatives. And you just click on the toolbar on the top, Representatives, and then it drops to Senators, and then it goes to a location map or a zip code map, okay, guys? Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all the help. Um, I'm telling you, he's there's no BS on this. Okay, I'm not. Uh, I've been doing this a long time now. If Marty's saying there's some light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm hearing, even though I'm a nobody, some sources I've helped over the years that some wealthy have some top tier have been whacked off at the knees. We've got something to work with. Okay, let's get it out there. Till next time, it's old Baron Dr. Bye. <laughs>